Welcome, welcome, welcome to the IBO playlist. Today we have a very, very important skill that we must all learn in order for us to become successful independent business owners. But I want to first introduce myself. My name is Nano and I am a Chairman 25 here with an I Am Mastery Academy. And I am so blessed and grateful to be able to get the chance to be able to share this incredible knowledge that I have on edification with you guys. So each and every single one of you can understand the power of playing the game. See, something I learned very early on was that if you don't learn how to play the game, the game will play you. All right. And, you know, edification is something that's very, very important that you guys are going to learn here today. So today's topic is the art of edification. OK, and I'm going to be using my whiteboard to be able to teach you guys everything and how you guys can start to implement edification within your business and how to leverage it and how to teach others how to do it. OK, so I highly recommend each and every single one of you guys to turn off all devices of distractions moving forward. OK, because it is a proven fact that if you don't focus on what I'm going to share with you guys here today, you will forget 95 percent of it. All right. Another thing I highly recommend each and every single one of you guys do before we get started is take notes. OK, if you don't have a pen and paper in front of you right now, please do me a favor. Go grab one really quick because you will forget this information if you don't write it down. So take notes. And then number three is make sure that you do this with intention. OK, listen to this with an intention to learn it, but not only to learn it, but to also be able to teach it, because remember, it's not about what you can do. It's about what you can teach and what you can teach is what duplicates and duplication leads to momentum. And I know every single one of you watching this right now wants momentum in your business. All right. So let's get this training started. I'm very excited and I'm very blessed to be here today. All right. So we're going to be going over the art of edification okay very easy very simple all right now quick point edification is actually one of the highest paid skill sets in network marketing right edification is one of the highest paid skill sets in network marketing all right, so when we talk about skill sets that you want to learn, we talk about the invitation. We talk about closing, presenting the business, promoting. Out of all of these skill sets, edification is actually one of the highest paid ones out of all of them. I'm not going to tell you exactly where in terms, but they for sure in the top three. OK, because edification is something that you do all the time within this business. OK, you're edifying people, you're edifying the products, you're edifying the company. You know, you're always edifying in this business. So it's something that you got to learn and you have to understand. All right. Now, the definition. What is the definition of edification? Well, edification is the instruction or improvement of a person morally or intellectually okay so in simple terms is basically when you speak highly of a mentor or someone that you're introducing someone to okay you never just want to introduce someone as hey this is my mentor nano that's it no you want to tell people a little bit about nano okay right? The instruction or the improvement of a person morally and intellectually is like a short introduction as to who the person is and what they've been able to do and why, you know, you should be listening to that person, right? Now, edification is used when you are an IBO in many different ways, right? But it's mostly used within our system, right? We have a system which is called PS3, okay? PS3 basically stands for Peak interest, all right, show the plan, and three-way call, all right? Now, in order for you to run a system, there's skills that are needed in order for you to run the system, okay? Once you've piqued someone's interest, and what do I mean by peak interest, right? When you peak someone's interest, that means someone has shown interest in your business and what you do okay so once someone has shown interest in what you do the skill you need to know is the invitation right you got to invite them to what show the plan 
Now, I'm sure there's going to be other trainings that you guys are going to watch on this playlist that are going to teach you guys how to invite, how to show the plan and everything else. But that's not my job here today. My job here is to show you guys edification. Now, invite, you're going to invite them to show the plan. Now, once you've shown them the plan, okay, your job, all right, is to get on a phone call with the prospect. And here is where you now have to edify. All right. Here is where you edify on the three way call. You edify. All right. You're going to speak highly and you're going to introduce your mentor to the prospect because you have to learn the power of leverage. OK, leverage is very important because understand that if you are leveraging your mentor is because your mentor knows how to answer the questions. He has been in the business and has experience. And he's probably has more results than you have at the current moment. So me, when I first came into this business, guys, all I did to make $2,000 a month was leverage my mentor. All I did was PS3 all day, every day. I would pique people's interests. My job was to invite them to the call. My mentor did the call. And then I would get them on a call with my mentor after the call. So think about it. All I had to do was peak interest and invite, and I made $2,000 a month. That's all I had to do. I was broke. I had no money. So if you're watching this call and you can relate to that and you're like, yo, I don't have no money. I don't have no results. Um, I, I don't know if this is something that I could do. I had those same thoughts. But I said, all I have to do is peak people's interest, get them interested in what I'm doing through Instagram posting, staying consistent, doing what I got to do learn the invitation, which is super easy, invite them to show the plan. Okay. The way I, 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 I tell people, and I explain it to my, to my team and everybody, I say, what the, where we go to show the plan, think about that. Like it was the party of the year, invite everybody to the party of the year. If it was your birthday party and you knew that it was about to be a party that was going to be lit, everybody was going to have fun. There was going to be good food, drinks is, you know, it's in a beautiful place, beautiful, you know, you know, place to throw it at. You would want everybody there. So you would invite people to, to see, to, to go to your party. It's the same thing when you show people your plan. Okay. So invite them to show the plan after the plan is shared. I don't even have to share. Remember, I used to invite them to my mentor who was showing the plan and then think about it. I would call them after, after the presentation was over. Hey, I was able to get five minutes of my mentor's time who was just presenting the business. And I told them all about you. And I think that you, he can be able to help you answer all the questions that you might have now. Can I get you on a call with him? They would say, yes, absolutely. Now I'm on the call. Now let's talk about this, right? There's, there's what's called the triangle of edification, right? And this is the visual way of presenting it to you guys, the triangle of edification. Right now, how does it look and how does it work? Well, let me let me draw it up for you guys right here really quick. Right. This is you, for example. Right. So let me put this triangle here for you guys so you guys can see it and understand it. Right. You. All right. You know, the mentor. Might be your platinum leader, chairman leader, whoever it is. OK. And you also know the prospect. So you know your mentor who did the presentation for you and you know the prospect. So your job now is, okay, is to connect the two. Connect your mentor to your prospect and your prospect to your mentor. Do a introduction, okay? So the first person you always introduce is your mentor first. Okay, so for example now, when you're speaking highly, when you're edifying, all right, when edifying, understand this. Gotta understand this. You wanna mention two to three characteristics that you admire a 
Okay. And you want to mention two to three accomplishments as well. So I'm doing this training right here with you guys. You want to mention two to three accomplishments as well. Okay. Now, the reason why you mentioned the characteristics is because you want people to know them for who they are. Okay. Sometimes people don't care too much about what they have until they know who the person they are. So they wouldn't care if the person has millions of dollars and has accomplished all these great things and has a Lamborghini. You know, they want to know the people that they are going to work with, the individual that you're actually introducing them to. So always mention people's characteristics, the, the things that makes them amazing. Okay, so when mentioning your mentor, always mention two to three characteristics first and then mention the accomplishments. Very important. So, for example, we jump on a call, right? My mentor just finished. Let's say, for example, Ty. Ty is my mentor, right? Ty just jumped off. He, he loves doing the, the, the opportunity calls, right? I got a prospect on the call. So I know Ty. Okay. I know Ty. And the prospect is Rob, for example. Pros Rob is my brother. This is my guy, my brother from the hood. We grew up together, went to high school together, everything. So Ty is my mentor. Rob is my prospect. So I get Ty on the phone. I get Rob on the phone, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce Ty to Rob, all right? So how am I going to introduce Ty to Rob? I'm going to get right into it, right? I'm going to tell, all right, great. Now that I got both of you guys here, Ty, I mean... Rob, this is my mentor, Ty. Ty is one of the hardest working people that I know. He's an individual that truly puts people over profits. And what I respect about Ty the most is that Ty doesn't measure his success by what he has. He measures his success by what all of us have. And that's what I love so much about him. You know, he's one of the top earners here within the company, a chairman 50. You know, he's a successful six-figure investor and he has created multiple six-figure traders within this industry, all right? So this is Ty, great individual, and that's who Ty is. I just edify Ty. Now, my job after I edify Ty, okay, is to let him know who Rob is, okay? Now, Ty, this is Rob. When it comes to edifying a prospect, you don't have to do as much for the prospect, right? For the prospect, you maybe just want to mention two characteristics that you feel like, um, you know, really align with what it is that we're doing here. Okay, so, you know, two or three characteristics about him that you can, you know, give him a compliment for like, okay, this is what I saw of him since I've known him and since I've met him and what I've seen through Instagram, right? So I'd be like, Ty, this is my brother, Rob. You know, Rob is someone who I've known for a good amount of time. He's a hardworking person. You know, he's always been about his money. And I know for a fact that when he comes into this business, He's going to kill it because he's a savage, always been business savvy. So, Rob, this is Ty. Ty, this is Rob. You did your job. You did your job. You just did a perfect edification right there on a three-way call. And you know what that took you? Maybe a minute. So, if we go back to the first page, okay, and we look at the system that I just went over with you guys, right? I just told you guys the system. This is the system right here. With this system, I made $2,000 a month just by peaking interest and inviting people to show the plan and getting on a call and edifying. Think about all the work I did. I peaked interest. All I did was post pictures on my Instagram. You know, I posted stories. I, I was consistent with it every day. I just posted it every day, every day, every day, posted, posted. Once I peaked someone interest and someone was like, yo, can you tell me more? What's this all about? Are you really trading? Are you making money? Any way I peaked interest, my goal from there was to invite them to show the plan. Why? Because we show the plan every day. So I would invite them. Hey, look, we actually have an opportunity call that's happening tomorrow at 9 p.m. Are you available? Yes. Well, I would love to get you on that call with my mentor and I. We're going to be running a call teaching people how to invest into the financial markets. I have one spot available. Can I count on you to be there? Yes. They show up to the call. Okay, they watch the presentation. Ty kills the presentation. 20, 30 minutes is in and out. I'll call up the prospect, let them know, hey, look, I was able to get five minutes of my mentor's time. He's actually the one doing the presentation. I actually have him on the other line. I'm gonna lock him in right now real quick so he can answer any questions. 
Boom, perfect. And then I go right here. Now I got Ty on the phone and I got the prospect on the phone, Rob. Boom, edify Ty. This is Ty, so on and so forth. What I just went over with the edification, two to three characteristics, hardworking, puts people over profits, measures his success by what other, measures his success by what others around him have, not what he has, right? Those were the three characteristics that I mentioned about Ty. What are his accomplishments? He's a chairman 50, all right? He has developed multiple six-figure earners within his organization and seven-figure traders, okay? And a successful investor, all right? So I mentioned some of his accomplishments. And then when it came to Rob, I did the exact same thing. Now, remember, there's different times that you're going to edify, okay? Now, that was an edification that you can use for the business, okay? Now, there's also a type of edification that you use for calls, right? There's going to be times that you're going to be on calls where you're going to have to edify your mentor, edify, you know, a product, the training, because remember, there's different types of edification, different types of edifications, okay? You can edify mentors, you can edify prospects, edify products and services, Okay. Edify the company. Okay. There's different types of edifications that you guys are going to do within this business as business owners, right? You're going to have to edify your mentors on calls, trainings. You're going to have to edify prospects on three way calls. You're going to have to edify the products and the services on your Instagram and to your people and onto your following so people can know what it's about. And what do I mean by edifying the products and the services? Speak highly of them. Speak highly. You're speaking highly of your products. Hey, we have the best products out here. Okay. Our products are 75 to 80% accurate. Everyone's making money. Everybody's compounding their accounts. Everybody's investing into crypto. The ideas are great. You know, you're edifying the products and the services, right? You're also edifying the company. Our company right now is the number one company in momentum. We have the best educational platform in network marketing. Okay, we've developed the most six-figure earners in the last three years. You know, we've only been around the, the business for eight years. You know, like sitting down and learning this stuff and learning ways to speak highly of your business, your products, your services, your prospects, your mentors is incredible. All right. It's awesome. Trust me when I tell you guys. All right. And to finish up here, uh, you know, I just want to teach you guys an advanced edification. All right. And the way you do advanced edification, all right, is tell a story. Tell a story. Tell a story and then mention the two to three characteristics and the two to three accomplishments, right? So the reason why I say that is because facts tell, but stories sell. So if I tell you, you know, about someone, but I mentioned the story first, it's going to be more dynamic. You're going to be more into it, okay? It's something that you're going to enjoy a lot more, okay? Because why? I told you a story. I made it fun. I made it I made it to the point where you, you were kind of into the, the whole story with me. So what do I mean by a story? For example, let's say, you know, we talk about the first day I met Ty for the first time, right? We're talking about Ty. Ty's my mentor, right? So let's say, for example, I tell the story. So let's say I'm about to bring up Ty to an event. And I tell, all right, guys, so the next person I'm going to bring up, this is an example here. The next person I'm going to bring up, it's a funny story because the first time I met him, I met him at an event in New York City. And when I got there, he was actually hanging out with one of my friends. And, you know, I remember getting there and <laughs> it's a funny story because one of my friends that he was actually standing next to said something disrespectful to me. And I kind of like gave him a, a punch in the chest. And I remember Ty looking at me like, yo, bro, like, isn't that your bro? Isn't that your boy? Like you just punched this guy in the chest. And, you know, I know he always loves to tell that story when we talk, but it's funny because it went from us from him seeing me at that event in New York City to now us being, you know, business partners and longtime brothers. You see, Ty is one of the 
the hardest working people I know, someone who leads by example, is always leading with his heart and always, you know, putting people over profits. But on top of that, he's a chairman 50 within this business. You know, he's been able to develop multiple successful six figure earners and seven figure traders and he's a successful investor so the the person that i'm talking to you guys about is literally a legend in the flesh so without further ado i'm gonna bring up the man the myth the legend and the goat himself tie the god to the floor that was a powerful edification and remember with edification never more than 30 seconds never more than 30 to 45 seconds Okay, you never want to overdo it because if you overdo it, you're overselling it. And then if you don't do it enough, then it's you're underselling it. You know, it has to be like a perfect amount. Like that edification that I did for Ty was great. I told the story. I, you know, gave him the characteristics and I told him a little bit about his accomplishments. And that right there, guys, is the art of edification my way. Okay, like I said, it's one of the highest paid skill sets in network marketing. You know, it's the instruction or improvement of a person morally or intellectually. You're going to use it a lot within the system of PS3, which is a system that got me to $2,000 a month um, on my own. And then the way you get to chairman is by teaching this to 10 to 15 people. Teach 10 to 15 people how to do what I did. And then you'll hit six figures, right? This is the triangle of edification, okay, when using it for the business. And remember, there's different types. You're, you're, you're edifying mentors, prospects products and services and the company. If you want to get advanced into it, tell a story with it. But with that being said, thank you guys so, so much for listening to this. Make sure you guys sit here and actually understand this. Watch it over and over and over again. And make sure that you took notes because I promise you, if it wasn't for me learning the art of edification, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And I don't say that to be, to be uh, exaggerating or anything. I say that because I honestly believe because I learned the power of edification, it got me through the beginning stages of this business. Okay. Because there's three skills you got to know to start this business and it's prospecting, inviting, and edifying. Those are the three skills you need to make $2,000 a month in this business. And then to make more than that, you got to teach others how to master those three skills. And then obviously you add the, the closing and presenting and promoting and everything else. But those are the core foundational skills that are needed, guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys learned a lot from this. Make sure that you guys watch the video over and over and over again. But most importantly, make sure that you share it and make sure that people know that they need to watch this video to learn the art of edification. But with that being said, my name is Nano. Uh, I'm a chairman 25 here. And if you guys want to follow me, my Instagram is at long live Nano. N-E-N-O, long live Nano on Instagram. Love y'all, appreciate y'all, and good luck on your independent business owner journey to the top. Remember, that's the only option because the bottom is way too crowded. Let's get it.